Hi guys, so this is going to be for Capricorn for the next 48 hours. I hope that you guys are doing great. Let's go ahead and see what is coming in for Capricorn. And what do they need to see? Angels and spirit guides were the messages for Capricorn. Okay, so we have the star energy. The star is the energy of Aquarius. It's also about healing, releasing, purifying yourself, um, letting go of anything that was negative and it's like water under the bridge. And it's about having hope and positivity, optimism for the future because you're having some kind of a fresh start. Okay, so we have here a uh, page of cups. We have here um, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And then we have here the Eight of Pentacles, which is about working hard, focusing on something very intensely, looking at the details, working, working on a project with the goal in mind being money or something of value. So you have this water energy, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person, and it could be just good news coming in towards you that gives you hope. All right, so what's in the past for Capricorn? What is in the past energy for Capricorn? I have a seven of pentacles strategizing, thinking about ways to make money or how to invest, um, how to invest your resources. What is the energy crowning Capricorn? Wow, what the heck? So we have some kind of energy of a sadness or a regret or feeling Sadness, feeling a loss, feeling, um, looking at the past. So this energy is crowning you, but what is actually happening is there's a release. There's some kind of hope coming in. Aquarian energy is about hope. You're, ha you're trying to move on. So we have a wheel of fortune. We have good luck and we have good fortune. The fortune's wheel starts to turn in your favor. Okay. Okay, so what is coming in for Capricorn? Wow, obsession. Some of you could be having a hard time letting go of a situation where it's very consuming. It's almost like it's all you can think about. We have a two of pentacles in the environment, needing to balance, needing to find balance, needing to multitask or find or financial balance. What do we have here coming in? High priestess is what you're wanting. You're wanting to distance yourself. You're wanting to separate yourself from how you're feeling. You're wanting to follow your intuition and not let your feelings consume you. The high priestess, she's rising above the fray and sort of floating through. You're not, you're just wanting to detach. So what's coming in? Wow, okay, let's see. What is coming in as the final outcome for Capricorn? Emperor, Aries energy, or you are focusing on building your empire, being strong. Um, sometimes the emperor can be stubborn. There's some energy here of an unwillingness to bend. What is the emperor energy? What is the emperor energy? What is the emperor energy? 
Where's the emperor? King of Swords. Somebody is being very decisive. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Could be cold. Could be a decision to cut someone off. Um, What's the King of Swords? Wow, there's a Six of Wands. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It's a victory. Somebody is having a victory there other people are seeing them they're getting attention what is the five of cups here why do we have a five of cups what is the five of cups nine of swords there are a lot of thoughts connected to your feelings and these thoughts could be all consuming like consuming your like you just can't stop thinking about something here um you're trying to let it go fortune's wheel is going to come in so that's the good news wheel of fortune is going to start to turn which is jupiter direct in capricorn and jupiter went direct in capricorn i think it was like a week and a half ago or two weeks ago things are going to start to get better however devil is kind of like it's you're obsessing or there's someone around you who you feel is obsessing. What is the devil? What is the devil? What is the devil? Page of Swords. A spy watching someone. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could be a toxic person around you who is an Aquarius. What is the Two of Pentacles? Wow. There's a death card or an ending going on around you. There's a transformation, Scorpio energy. What is the Emperor? Okay. What is the Emperor? What is the Emperor? Okay, so that's the Emperor could be the person over here, Seven of Pentacles, that you're still thinking about. What is the Page of Cups? Okay, so the Page of Cups could be a water sign, but it could be anyone where you tried to help them. There's the energy here of charity, helpful, trying to make something fair, trying to make something balanced. Okay, so what is going to be this Wheel of Fortune that comes in? Ooh, the world. So you achieve great success in something. What is the world? What is the world? What is the world? What is the world? The Four of Pentacles. I feel like you don't tell anyone that you have great success. You're holding on, you're saving, you're holding back your energy. Maybe you were very generous in the past. What is the four of pentacles? Why is there a four of pentacles? Okay. Okay, it's not really popping. It's like trying to, but the message isn't really. There we go. Okay, so now you're defending yourself. You tried to help someone, so it's a coin. This is the energy of charity, like trying to help someone and be charitable. What is the Nine of Swords? There's something here that makes you feel like it's a you can't stop thinking about it it could be causing you a lot of stress and sadness what is the nine of swords 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 
What is the Nine of Swords? The Four of Wands. There was some situation where there was a stable, happy home. And we have a magician, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so what is going on with this emperor energy? Who, this is like the boss. What is the emperor? Aries energy, what is the emperor? What is the emperor? What is the Emperor? King of Swords. So there's something here about someone where you're you're making a final decision, but it's very harsh. The energy is harsh. It's the energy of a lawyer, you know, someone who just looks at the facts. Okay, so what is the Six of Wands? Why is the Six of Wands right here? Why is the Six of Wands right here? Why is the Six of Wands right here? What is Six of Wands about? What is Six of Wands about? Wow, this is a lot. So we have a wish coming true, uh, something about family, commitments, money, wealth, financial security, and then the energy of Capricorn, having money, having security, having financial wealth, and a lot of strength, resources, money in the bank, strong family connections, strong ties. So there's a victory actually for you. What this is, you turn, you come into emperor status. Um, there's an energy here. Maybe somebody is helping you out, but with the six of pentacles, somebody could be helping you. What is six of pentacles? Three of swords. Now I feel like you tried to help someone. Two of Swords, a lack of clarity, confusion. Everything works out for you in your favor, though. Okay. What do we have here coming in for Capricorn? Strategy. So some of you are working on your strategy. Um, creating a new strategy. What else do we have for Capricorn? A journey. Some of you are wanting to travel or wanting to step outside your comfort zone. Okay, I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Thank you for watching and take care.